Right, this is a progress video of the no input voltage experiments. As you can see, I've got the ground lead there which runs to a stake outside, goes to a steel pipe that's about, uh, it's only a few inches, about six or eight inches into the ground, two inch wide pipe. Got the circuit there that I normally use, and the circuit diagram for that can be found a couple of videos ago. Then we go to a few coils, ferrite cores, a couple of wound up uh, coils there which are coreless and instead of where the lead here would normally go to the wall adapter there's now just a metal block so hopefully this will help with uh, well my understandings anyway about what's going on but as you can see nothing at all going on at the moment on the circuit if I just touch the metal block there then the LED begins to come on but there's no flashing or any of that type, no oscillations. If I get this tester now, uh, I'm going to do this, wait a minute, put my hand on there, and then the LED to there, we can see the flashing of the wireless energy. So the circuit is now in operation. It does work on both coils, at least it does when I've got no camera in my hand. That's the first one, showing that wireless, there's the second one, showing that one's running wireless. So there we are, it does now work without the wall adapter. And if you notice, only when, let's see now, get that started going, only when I touch the metal does the LED start to flash as the capacitor fills up and discharges. So there we are, that's uh, so far I am along, not where I want to be yet, but uh, well, at least we're getting wireless now without the wall adapter. Okay, thanks for watching.